Hey, hello everybody out there. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to come on really quickly, possibly. Um, I wanted to share something about um, our um, our integrity, about integrity and about our, and, and it's funny that um, our sister came on today talking about dispositions. So we need to know our disposition, number one, and also not be afraid or to think of our, think of, you know, don't try to be political, p politically correct, number one. I always say that in my post. Uh, let's never try to be politically correct because that's when you will fail, you'll muddle, you'll compromise and, and the message of, of Christ Jesus or what you stand for will definitely be watered down and it will not be meaningful at all. So I had a situation not too long ago and I was thinking, I mean, the way things were going, because I'm, a, I think I'm a person of integrity. I don't, and I always want people to see Jesus, of course, in the best light. But we have to be reminded that God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are far beyond our thoughts. So, think the way things were going, I was like, Lord, wait a minute. Is, is this how you, you know, like, man, is this how you want me to do this? Because this doesn't seem like good you know it doesn't seem right like oh I don't you know it doesn't seem righteous because you know the people they they know me to be Christian and I was thinking oh man they're gonna you know I'm gonna mess up the wit my witness uh or whatever but God was just leading me down this road like mm -mm, that's not how I want you to do it so let us be careful to to when we talking about we have integrity or with people of integrity know the will of of the will, excuse me, the will and way of God. And if you don't know the will and the way of God, be led of his spirit so that you will come to know him. I got to know him in such a different way because all my life I pay, try to pay my bills on time, make sure that, you know, like I said, that God is shown in a light that is good. But see, when you're prophet and or prophetess or, you know, just a, 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 a fiery follower of Christ Jesus, sometimes you got to say things and do things that don't make sense. They will not make sense to you. They will not make sense to the other person on the other end. So don't worry about God's reputation. He got his own reputation. You worry about yourself. Okay, that's what we need to do. A, a, a dear, a dear sister, we were just uh, having a conversation, and she just reminded me because I meant to make this post earlier. Actually, you know, I meant to just write something, but I decided to pick up the camera. Um, it would be quicker um, because you know, and let people know who you are and where you stand. You know, you know, there'll be times, of course, when God shuts your mouth, you know, he doesn't want you to say anything, but sometimes he wants you to open your mouth and let people know who you are and where you stand. Because if we don't stand for something, we will fall for any and everything. You have to let people know your standards, your morals, and your boundaries. Because if you don't, they're going to push you. They try to push your boundaries and push you into something that you have no business in or that you had not planned on being in. So, you know, don't you don't have to go with the flow. You know, uh, you don't have to go with the flow bottom line. So I hope I said everything I want to say, but definitely be careful with talking about integrity and saying that you're a person of integrity and all of that and trying to watch out for God's uh, reputation. You know, don't worry about God's reputation. Just do what he's you know, called us to do. So that's what we need to do. So I love you very much. I hope this made sense. <laughs> I hope this made sense, but I've been even, not even just today, but I meant to make this, uh, situation, this, uh, post or let's talk about this topic even before now, because it's really, really important. Even our sisters, Sharon, when she talks about, thank you, Holy Spirit, how she jumped ship regarding her home she just jumped ship, you know, she didn't, you know, 
try to pay off the mortgage or anything like that. See, some people will be look at that as like, you're not a person of integrity. And I'm sure some people have said it. I've never read the comments or, uh, or I don't know, or they may have said it in the comments or maybe they just told it to themselves. But I'm sure some people have said, hmm, is she a Christian? That's not Christ-like to do that. You know, they might say something like that. But that's what God told her to do. And it worked out for her. Even my situation, I'm going to come with the testimony at the right, at the you know, whenever the Lord leads me to it. But I, when you, this is going to blow, blow your mind. I'm telling you, the way that God, I'm telling you, this little pathway that God took me down, I couldn't believe it. I was like, Lord, wait a minute. Don't, and I, am I supposed, I should not, blow, <laughs> he was, I mean, everything he did was totally different from what I knew before. I mean, he took care of everything. He t everything turned out. I mean, beautiful, awesome, great. He was. He just backed me up. I mean, he just. I couldn't believe how he did that. But I, I'll share that testimony one time. And, but yeah, but I'm sure people, you know, the way she did things and things turned out for her. Um, you know, I'm sure that's not still on her credit or anything like that. You know, a lot of, you know, anyway, God is good. I mean, his ways are just not our ways. We just have to be led to him and follow him thoroughly, fully, completely, beloved, for real. Follow him. Don't go by what other people are talking about. Follow him. Him. I love you. I made this too long. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>